Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I get a lot of questions with respect to our 90% and our uh, rough model uh, wool anoraks. So I'd like to uh, just do this video and explain to you the difference between the two models and uh, basically how warm it could be uh, with and what kind of uh, uh, under layers you should be wearing. Uh, I'm up at my camp my hunting camp and right now as we speak it's minus 20 Celsius it's pretty cold it was down to 30 minus 30 this morning and uh, all I've got on is my uh, is my merino wool under armor as my uh, first layer then I have a uh, a thick uh, lumberjack shirt uh, and it's not one of these Mackinaws it's uh, it's a little thicker than a regular shirt okay uh, what can I kind of tell you? It's one of these babies right here. So you can see it's not it's not that thick of a of a fabric. And uh, I must say, at minus 20, and uh, I was walking uh, across my property here. I went to check out some snares. I was very comfortable. As a matter of fact, I had to slow down a bit because I was starting to build a little sweat. So these anoraks here, between the 90% and the uh, and the rough model they're identical the fabric is the same we use the same blankets to make both of them uh, the only difference between the two is that the uh, 90 proof has the borders on the on the sleeves and on the sweep whereas the rough is a plain Jane no borders no colors no nothing it's just this olive green or OD green if you'd like uh, as far as uh, sizing is concerned we always recommend that you take these a little bit bigger they're made and designed for you to wear them uh, like very loose okay uh, I'm 225 511 and what you see here is a 2XL uh, you don't need too much layering underneath uh, they are a little bit of a hassle to put on and take off uh, so let me show you something it might that might help you out when you're trying to put on or take off this garment because uh, look there's no openings there's no openings on the side there's no openings in the front aside from the uh, from the gauntlet here that has uh, the uh, that has the uh, the power cord so you can cinch it and uh, it could be a little difficult to put on and take off. It takes it takes a little bit of practice, but once you get used to it, there really is nothing to it. A lot of people call me up and tell me, oh, look, it's a bitch to put on to take off. What about zippers? I don't want to use any hardware on this thing. Hardware fails, okay? There's no snaps. You don't need snaps on the cuffs here. Uh, believe me, the wind is not going to come through this thing, okay? So, now, when you want to remove your anorak, okay, in the back, of your neck in the back of the neck we've put we've installed a um, what's it called a piece of webbing okay if I can find it anyway so what you do you just put your finger through the webbing the webbing loop that's in the back of the sand rack and you just pull upwards and you gotta help it a bit man you know there you go and off it comes, you know, no sweat. And like I said before, I'm not wearing much, man. I'm wearing my Under Armour, I'm wearing this shirt, and I'm toasty, okay? So, for those of you that uh, wanted some information, I hope this shed some light on you. And uh, if you have any other questions, you know, feel free to call. Uh, you know, we, we, our customer service is, is renowned. We will answer your calls within a couple of hours. Many times we'll answer immediately. As for uh, turnaround time, guys, uh, I had guys that ordered these garments in Germany and they received them within 10 days, okay? Uh, US, at the furthest points of the United States, and don't forget these garments are coming from Quebec, uh, you're looking at about a week, all right? Traveling time. 
we usually have inventory, okay? So it doesn't take long. Like uh, you place your order, uh, the next day it's gonna go out, most likely. Now, in the event that we run out of a certain size that you just so happen to order, uh, for instance, if you order it like on a Thursday or a Wednesday, it's gonna go into production Monday, the following Monday, and the, by that Friday, it'll be ready and out it goes. So we've, we're known to have uh, the fastest, uh, fastest shipping this side of the Rockies. And uh, you know, it's, uh, it's all good. It's very easy, guys. So I hope this uh, video shed some light on some of the questions that you guys might have uh, needed to be answered. Uh, as far as pockets, another, a lot of people ask me about the front pocket. Personally, I don't care for it, okay? Uh, as a matter of fact, the big kangaroo pockets that we, that we do install for those who want them, uh, they're basically hand warmers. They're not made to scaff all kinds of uh, toys and tools inside because eventually when you do scaff all those things inside your rack, you're gonna find that your stomach is gonna go right up to there. So like you won't be able to see the bottom of your feet and you need you know, visibility. When you're walking in the snow, doing snowshoeing, what have you, you need to be able to see below you. You can't have something obstructing your, your view by having all kinds of stuff in the front pocket. So basically what it's there for is that you can stick your hands in. Like right now, if I had it, I'd have my hands inside, just rests my arms, and it keeps them a little bit warm. And with the same token, you can work within your pocket. If you want to change the batteries on your flashlight, change the cell on your camera, you can do that within that big kangaroo pocket. But it's not made to stuff all kinds of, stu all kinds of tools and gimmicks and whatever you want in there. It's made to keep your hands warm and if you need to work within that area and not have your hands exposed to the elements. Basically that's what it's for. So uh, again I want to thank you for uh, joining me again. Uh, I really want to thank everybody for all the support. Boreal Mountain Anoraks has gone a long way. It's been a couple of years. Now. We've been helping people and servicing people around the world. Well, we have uh, mountaineers in the Alps, we have people down, down under, we uh, sold our first anorak to Australia a couple of weeks ago, and uh, you know, Japan, Germany, Switzerland, uh, England, France, all over the place, Canada, and of course the United States, which represents the bulk of our business. So again guys, thanks again for joining me, uh, hope this video was helpful, and I'll see you guys on the next vid. So long for now.